And I share a little bit with you about my story, my personal story. I share with you about my mother and father a little bit, my, my journey as an athlete, making it to the top, getting hurt my very first game. I share with you my drug story. But the one thing I want to share with you that, that is very dear to my heart is, is, is a story about my uncle. My uncle means everything to me, my Uncle Tim. He recently passed away due to a massive heart attack. I'll never forget when I got the news that he wasn't going to make it. Had a massive fatal heart attack in front of his two twins, sons, and his wife. I'll never forget at the hospital at the day that his life support was cut off. I was in tears, just watching his wife just break down, just fall to her knees. My aunt, looking at his two boys lose their father. And that night when I was walking around downtown Chicago, I started to think about all the things that my uncle said he was going to do. It could have been something as simple as being able to watch his sons play baseball. It could have been something as taking a family trip together to Hawaii. It could have been to get that job promotion that he wanted so badly for the past 10 years. It could have been to start working on expanding his vision for his future for himself. But I started to realize that he wasn't able to do any of that. And as I stated before, ladies and gentlemen, Dubai is not the wealthiest place in the world. The graveyard is the wealthiest place in the world. And one of the most motivating factors that you can implement into your daily routine, into your, how you operate and do business, is death. And I know that sounds weird because none of us like to think of death. Hell, some of us may even experience it in a way we don't want to think about it at all, and I'm sorry for that. But the fact of the matter is this. Your time is going to come. And how do you want to be remembered? How do you, as an individual, want to be remembered? And where I'm getting at, ladies and gentlemen, is live in the now. Tell your wife you love her every single day. Be there for your children. Take that family trip you want. And most importantly, get engaged in the workplace. Don't just go through the daily grind. Don't get lost in the chaos, the noisy, distracted world that we live in. Make it your personal business every single day to make sure that you go to the graveyard with nothing left.